Aqua Data Studio's Entity Relationship Modeler, Modeling Databases and Database Conversion. To create a new model, click ER Modeler in the Application menu and select New. Choose a database type and version. To add a table to your model, click the Table Entity icon in the palette on the right and left-click and drag to create an entity. Double-click to alter its properties. Enter column information as needed and select data types. We'll double-click this table to edit. Again, we'll enter table and column information. To create a relationship, click the relationship icon in the palette. Click on one table, then the other. Enter a relationship name, select columns in the relationship, and click OK. Notice the connector indicating the relationship. Double click it to edit and add comments. To enter comments on a table, double-click a table entity and use its comments tab. We'll also add comments to this table. Comments appear at the bottom of table entities. Notice that the properties for a selected entity display in the Object Properties pane at the bottom of the window. The columns, storage information, and comments for the selected objects can be viewed here. Zoom in and out by using the mouse scroll wheel. The Zoom Toolbar button icons work the same way. To save this model, we'll use the File Save As menu. We're saving to the Scripts folder associated with the database connection in the Schema browser. We'll close the modeler for a moment. To open one of these ER model XED files, simply double click. Additional sheets can be added to a model by right clicking in a tab and selecting Add Sheet. Sheets are views of the model. Notice the objects are gray. This means they aren't shown in this sheet. Multiple objects can be selected then displayed in the sheet by choosing Show in Diagram with a right-click menu. We'll zoom out, then drag objects into a new position. To view another sheet, click its tab. This sheet displays only views. Regions are used to group displayed objects in a sheet. To make a region, drag one around the objects you wish to group. Double-click a region to alter its color and name. These two tables and their relationship are part of this region. If we move the region, they all move as a group. Notes can be placed in the sheet to help explain items in the model. The font of a note can be changed with the drop-down at the top right of the note window. The
current sheet can be printed by clicking the print icon in the toolbar. The printing options allow scaling, zooming, and shrinking the model with fit width, fit height, and print trim marks and other options. The print icon prints the currently viewed sheet. To print a wall chart, tile the model across several pages. After printing, trim at the crop marks. Generate SQL from the model with the Tools Generate Script menu. In the General tab, select the items to be scripted and click Next. Here we're looking at the script as it will be generated within the Preview tab. All of the DDL to create the script for the model is displayed here. Notice all of the create table statements including the data types and constraints. We'll close this model without saving it. Next we'll generate an ER model from an existing database connection in the schema browser. We'll navigate to a database object and use the context menu ER Diagram Generator. Here we'll choose to generate all objects and include storage objects and click Next. Progress status is displayed as the model is generated. The model has been generated. It's large. We'll use the mouse wheel to zoom out and we'll rearrange it. Notice the overview in the bottom right. It shows us a full view of the model. If we multi-select, we can move these objects together. If we're having difficulty selecting, we can zoom in for better precision when we grab the objects. We can compare the current ER model we generated with any database we're connected to. Choose from the current connections, drill down to the database and objects you wish to compare, and click Next. The Status tab shows the progress of the comparison, with elapsed and remaining time, as well as the number of objects compared. Clicking on an object reveals the differences between that object on the database server and the one in our generated model. Notice the added DDL in our model. We can quickly scroll through the object list to see all of the differences. Colors and splines indicate deletions, changes, and additions. Next, we'll convert database schema from Microsoft SQL Server 2000 to Oracle 11G. This is a model for MS SQL 2000. From the menu, we'll choose Tools Convert Model. Select Oracle 11G, choose Options, and append conversion comments. Now we have an Oracle 11G model. We'll choose Tools Generate Script to see its Oracle 11G SQL DDL statements. These SQL statements will generate the needed schema objects for Oracle 11G. Notice the number and invarcar2 data types for Oracle 11G. With this DDL, we can convert from MS SQL Server to Oracle 11G.